What's up, VFL fam? Today, I dive into some jaw-dropping drama with Ace video on YouTube who may be hiding some shocking secret. Okay, right? Ryan and his mom are actually criminals, so make sure to keep on watching until the end to see what they did. This is so YouTubers who are secretly criminals. Coming in straight at number seven, we have Jideon, who is known for crazy pranks in public, and a few of them have gone too far. Do y'all ever uh, watch Jideon? Who is Jideon? Like, I want to know if y'all ever seen this YouTuber on uh, channel, and if y'all do, go to it and tell me what type of content you make. I want to know. I might, I might watch, watch your videos sometime. In my free time. And he's been arrested several times and even charged with trespassing. In this clip, he was doing an old man prank at the mall after he refused to leave. The mall security called the police and he got arrested. So let's check it out. Can you? You gotta go, sir. I identify as a 69-year-old officer. Please protect me. That woman, she's scaring me. Can you tell her to go away? Flashback. She's making my episodes go off. I'm getting flashbacks to Nam. I need... End of flashback. Help, I'm a fellow munch. Attack. Oh! Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. Uh, why? Why are you it's acting a like you're a sixty-year-old something man? You probably, oh, you probably so literally. Uh, you say you look like uh, you're in your dirty to forty right now. You didn't even look like you're a grandpa yet. Yeah, you know. It, 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 it look like you you're still in your dirty to forty, and you're doing this. You're in your dirty forties doing this. Come on. And and you doing an old old person prank. It gotta be nervous and it gotta be like funny because this point you look like you're just being mean and you don't know what you're um, doing. Subscriber, this spider will be in your bed while you're trying to sleep. Gideon has since cleaned up his act, but now in number six we have the Stokes twins. Hey, and ho, 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 ho. Don't, don't they 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 to rob my, my After they boy got in trouble, they took that video uh, down, but we got it here, so make sure to watch it because it's a rare clip. And the twins ended up getting charged with false imprisonment, menace, fraud, or deceit, and also falsely reporting an emergency. So let's get right to it. I, I, I really don't remember this video. Like, I watched the story, but I really don't remember this video. I really don't. Uh, our, our oh, and also, in every video, it's going to be a lot of videos. Oh, and every YouTuber that we see that are a criminal, subscribe to their channel. Don't forget to subscribe to, um, to their channel. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel and subscribe to me. Don't forget that. Driver just spelled on us. So, uh, is it, uh, what is it? What is this? What is this? Like this? Oh, we're going to like a costume, costume party. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Could you, could you, uh, step on it? Like, step on a gas? Okay, can I just take this right? Just get out of my car, please. Actually? Yeah. No, we're gonna get caught. Okay. No, we can't do. Oh. Oh, man. That, this isn't good. <laughs> Yo, are you running? Yo, running with the loot? That was a crazy prank, but in the next part, you'll see them getting confronted by the police, so let's get back to the clip. Wow. Because so you guys I, are pulling off masks. So I called the emergency, non emergency number about like, um, I think the other guys know. This was on Subject Saturday. Uh, and I told them that would be from yeah. Saturday and on uh, Wednesday as well. This is what's going to get someone potentially gun stuck or someone hurt. Public. What the? We have people stopping in the middle of the street because they're watching this. Guys pulling up ski masks, throwing stuff. For one, they will actually get somebody on uh, gun story. Like, they will get somebody gun story on like a prank like this, right? Now, I can see if you're a friend with a cop or something, like how y'all email other YouTube to collab a video together, then it'll be fine. But don't do this. Changing clothes. <laughs> First, we actually stepped it up and like pushed our like our I guess our yeah it worked yeah and I just didn't expect this to actually happen because like most time people are just always laughing because they they're twins so they can usually tower right away but, but then like I guess the ski mask is kind of like oh, major, dude, think about what's going on nowadays mm -hmm. think about it man you're in the all black outfit with ski mask well black ski mask and nowadays people don't care care about skin color the way you uh did a print 
people really thought that you were actually robbing it. Like, yeah, it's funny, but you got to think that you're not going to call 911? You think you're not going to call 911 for that? Come on. Serious trouble because of that video. But up next to number five, we have Jack Doherty, who's been charged multiple times for many different crimes, including battery, assault, yeah, that's and speeding. Yeah, Jack Doherty did have been charged a couple of times. Right? A couple of times. Not a lot of times, but a couple of times he had been charged. What is it to you if you decide to blow it off, a warrant will be issued for your arrest? Trust me, I'm not scared. All I do is not wear a shirt. You know, it's not a big deal. I don't think I should be in here. I think I'm in here. You wouldn't be in here if you weren't such a white Yeah, I know, but I just had to get my YouTube video and they kind of like extended it to here. And now that I'm here, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Like, I'll go to court with no shirt on. Like, this is just funny to me. Like, how am I supposed to act normal when I'm getting a ticket and going to court for not wearing a shirt? Look, John's right there, guys. John. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He about to get arrested for, it, for not wearing a shirt. What? You tell me a dude can't go out the house without a shirt on? Now, I can see if a girl came out the house with no shirt on. But, you tell me he going to jail a, for not wearing a shirt? right there. Do you let my security guard in real quick? Just to make sure, like, it's like a, a 3 view one right now. Yeah, while you're here, for the remainder of your time, you need to put your phone in. I think I'm allowed to record yeah. for my personal. Yeah, you're in my custody. I know, but I'm allowed to record. Yeah. I am allowed to record. Yeah, while you're in custody. That I, so how my. Courtesy, I let wait. you go, go this far. All right. Put the phone away. Boom. When? You know, if you know you're about to go to jail for something that you didn't do, then you have all, then the other person have all right to record, so then so then they can find a way to get you free. Now, if you're in custody recording, I don't know. Like, is it, is it illegal to not record when you go in jail? Because you go in jail, then I don't know. But I think, am I allowed to record, sir? I think I'm allowed to record. Fine. Sadly, Jack doesn't seem to care about committing crimes. Now at number four, we have Boogie2988, who's been very controversial in the past. Oh, oh, oh didn't it? I, I, I need, I need to say that. I'm not trying to be rude, but how you got bigger teeth than my mama? And you need to work out. And if someone bring a uh, salad in your face, you start throwing up for no reason. Last few years, and just a few months ago, he upset many people by promoting a cryptocurrency called Fatty, which was a scam, and many of his fans lost money because of it. While Boogie wasn't charged, he still is why, why, because why he used his fans to get money for himself. After people realized it was a scam, he deleted the promotion video, but we still have it. So let's take a look at it. Be a man! Make sure your woman feels secure by knowing you're not going anywhere. Now, Fatty is a community for like-minded individuals that have broken free from the matrix. True happiness comes from a goldfish, from the same woman a couple of nights a month, and the occasional meme coin. Fatty for life. <laughs> Bucky has since apologized, but many people are still yeah, ahead of him. Now number three, we have Stefan McCauley, also known as Vote Saxon 07, who used to make Doctor Who videos on YouTube. Most of his fans thought that he was just a normal What Where, Where is Doctor Who views? I, I, I don't know why I paused right there, but it just interested me to see Doctor Who view. I want to know what Doctor Who type views. And if you do make it, Oh, how you made well, God, Dr. Who videos anyway. he was charged with the murder of his girlfriend, Natalie McNally. The same night as Natalie died, both Saxon 07 was live streaming, but some people noticed oh, that it wasn't God. actually live stream, but a pre-recorded footage that he used as an alibi. Guys, this is crazy, so let's check it out. I was reading somewhere recently, like, the, the amount of police force that we have lost over the last 12 years is just fucking frightening, and no wonder crime is on the rise. That's why I like sticking to just doing crimes in a video game. Keeps things simple, mate. At 3-12-11, the following happened. Before we get to see what crimes Ryan and his mom have committed, let's take a look at number two from Sniper Wolf. Not many people know that she has a criminal history, with her first charge being an armed robbery back right. in 2013. A few years later, she was charged she with disorderly conduct, fighting, because she got into a fight wait, with her wait, boyfriend, wait, 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 she, she, she did her own robbery in 2013? In this next clip, she explains some of it, so let's get right to it. So, of course, I was screaming, I was screaming, and then I run outside, and I start screaming. I wasn't even screaming for help or anything, I was just screaming like, ah, like, I hate 
hate you. Like, I fucking hate you. It's just really stupid. And then I come back inside and I start screaming again. I, I guess the neighbors heard. I don't know which neighbors, but somebody called the cops on us and they came. At first, I didn't want to talk to them. I didn't say anything. I refused to like answer any of their questions, say anything because I didn't want to talk to them. You don't have to talk to cops. You have a right to refuse or you have the right to remain silent or so I thought. Like I said nothing. There was nothing going on. We just got into a fight. Wait, wait. I I, I gotta say this. She probably she probably did it because they were homeless poor and bit they had a lot of stuff like they got now. So I can see that. Two for shoplifting. She was trying to steal around 93 dust. And it turns out that Ryan's mother, Loan Guan, was arrested. Loan was 18 at the time and attending the University of Hugh Dollars worth of clothing from JC Penny at Almeda Mall uh -huh. in Houston, Texas. Guys, this is crazy, but at the next part, you will hear what she did after getting punished. So let's get back to the clip. And a $150 fine. She was told that she had to complete 40 hours of community service and complete Houston. She faced 60 days in jail, and instead, the judge gave her six months probation to show up to her community service. She didn't report to her community at random drug tests. Pretty lenient.